What's up guys, today's Monday. Great start to the weekend of life. I'm on vacation, well for one day. My mom was visiting us in town. We had such a wonderful extended weekend with her showing her around the city for like the fifth or sixth time, but it never gets old being able to share our life with our loved ones when they come visit us. And my wife and I love to host, but back into my routine, it was nice having Friday and Monday off, a well needed like vacation from work. And I took a couple weeks off from content creation so right now I'm actually working on a really exciting campaign with one of my favorite tech brands, one of the first brands to actually give me an opportunity to work with them on like a major campaign for the release of their flagship products. Just need to open up this window a little bit so we can get some fresh air and of course get some New York City sounds for some energy, especially that like late afternoon crash that I'm not trying to get because I want to go play some ball at the gym and I have a Norman Tech session scheduled for 30 minutes. So I'm going to probably grab like a quick snack because I've been prioritizing hitting my calories and my macros. Quick snack, hop on an e-bike and head to the gym and give these dudes some buckets. Oh, almost forgot. Quick announcement. I'm going to be in Berlin for the We Are Developers Conference and I'm going to be at the Twilio booth specifically. I never announce when I go to conferences for some reason, but every time I go to these large developer conferences in Europe, I run into subscribers and it's always so like refreshing and just amazing to meet you know my community in person so if you're at we are developers please stop by at the twilio booth and say hi i don't know where we're going to be at specifically because we're still like three weeks to almost a month out but i'll see you all there in berlin So today's Tuesday. I haven't got a chance to film at all. I've been so busy with work, wrapping up this campaign. I even had to go to Manhattan to pick up this new vertical stand for my MacBook Pro that it's been long overdue. I always have my MacBook in clamshell mode underneath my desk shelf and it's just too much of a pain to switch in between my work laptop and my personal laptop. So it just made more sense to get a stand. I'm actually running a few minutes behind. I'm going to go to my Tuesday run club at McCarran Park. I've been doing that the last three out of four Tuesdays. And it's I feel like it's made all the difference in terms of my speed, confidence, and then just building more community within the running space, specifically Brooklyn Track Club. And one of my homies that I played AAU basketball with is one that got me, you know, more excited and kind of influenced to run more because it just seems like such a fun, like, community and just hobby with so many different events and ways to meet really amazing people who are all trying to like, you know, have common goals of we're all going after like a common goal of like running better, half marathons, marathons, and so on. Just just really positive. So finally, we're able to go to the run club together at the same time. So I'm excited to see how well I can run today and just also not being at the track club, kind of like feeling like a fish out of water because, you know, I don't know nobody. So it's like be a little less weird this time. Good morning guys today's wednesday i only had one meeting this morning and um it's not even morning anymore it's it's literally my lunch break i'm looking at condi nest traveler to try to figure out where we should go after the conference in berlin because we have to take advantage of really affordable flights throughout europe for a european summer i also want to go downstairs and just try out the sabrina basketball shoes that i bought yesterday the sabrina ones they came out with this new colorway i don't know the name of it but they look like kobe's and i played volleyball in them yesterday also have been using the sonos ace headphone as my main over head headphone the quality of these headphones is on par with airpods max and the xm5s um, they're really comfortable noise canceling is great transparency mode is phenomenal like i can clearly hear my environment 
around me in transparency mode and hold a conversation while keeping the headphones on. The only thing that didn't work, which kind of sucks, maybe I needed to like re-download the app or do some sort of update. I wanted to be able to use these headphones while watching TV because if you have a Sonos system, you can actually change your audio from your Sonos speakers to the Ace, but I haven't been able to do that yet. All right, so I made it down to the basketball court. Time to get some shout outs with the Sabrina Ones. I wore them yesterday, like I mentioned, playing volleyball. And obviously that's not necessarily comparable to making cuts and running full speed playing basketball. I can't even really do that in a court this small. But nonetheless, they feel really comfortable. Like my first impressions are really comfortable. The only reason why I'm like even hesitant about this shoe is because I don't wear low tops ever. My hooping shoes are primarily mid cut to high cut. I just, maybe like the last few years, got comfortable with mid cut sneakers because I would get so many sprained ankles and it was just debilitating like being out for like three months at a time because of a high ankle sprain and it's, it's painful. Now I'm feeling more confident in my ankle flexibility and strength. I've played in the Giannis's, just wasn't really a fan of how my foot felt in the sneaker. But I think the Sabrina's are pretty similar to like the Kobe's, maybe even like a low cut version of like Kyrie's old sneaker and they look really good. This purple colorway is crazy so you know, since I'm a part of Nike's 365 bootcamp program, I get reimbursed up to a certain point for Nike purchases. So I figure why not try them out. starting the day pretty healthy with this protein shake. I like to have like a healthy blend of, of drinking the pre-made like protein shakes, but I also, you know, have been wanting to better manage what I put in my body. So more times than not, I like to make my own shake. And if you guys are curious, what smoothie machine we have, it's the uh, Beast smoothie machine. So I'll link it down below. Also got my hair braided. It's been so hot that I just needed to braid my hair so I can just have a breather for like a few weeks. Can't even lie guys, I'm a little tired. <laughs> it's, it's July almost, and I've noticed that when July comes around, that's when I feel like almost the most exhausted out the year, outside of like the end of the year, obviously. I definitely need some rest. And I think I struggle with that because when I'm not like working my nine to five job, I'm working on some sort of content creation, whether it's like a brand deal or working on like a larger YouTube project. Even though I haven't even been doing a lot of brand deals, I feel like the traveling is caught up to me. Just being busy, like living in New York, like like I didn't realize how busy I was until I looked at my calendar. That's why I think like getting better with like my calendar management, my to-do lists are so important, especially for this past quarter because I've been juggling a lot of projects. I haven't been able to talk a ton about what I've been working on because I've been doing a lot of like confidential work, but it is centered around like developer experience. And one thing that I wanna do and prioritize for Q3 is I wanna work on like a small pet project for my nine to five job, specifically in like centered around like like just testing out developer tooling along with just reading more like blog posts and forums around user experience i read or listen to the audiobook, The Design of Everyday Things, which has taught me a lot. I feel like it's allowed me to think more critically about all things design, like web applications, and just kind of with the way the world works, and, and obviously the digital world more so. So I think I wanna take that, apply those skills to 
like learning more about developer tooling, maybe even creating my own developer tool at some point, um, still managing our open source dev phone project, which is a really amazing developer tool that our team created maybe like a year or so before I joined. I'm also hoping to do more programming for Q3, just because this past quarter was mostly centered around testing. And once you get the template down for testing, it's kind of like the same strategy. The implementations don't change outside of what you're testing for. And that's already kind of written for you because you're testing what these functions are expecting or not expecting. I actually need to run to a meeting finish this protein shake and then I also need to get my hair cut because the braids are clean but my, my cut is not clean and I, I just need a nice clean shave. So this is one of my favorite meetings of the day. I'm going to be talking to my homie Frank, my coworker, who's become a good friend of mine that lives in London and we always have the best conversations so excited to hop on a call with Frank. I've also noticed that I've really enjoyed using the MX keys s for mac and how much i missed using logitech mx keys i've been using mechanical keyboards like the past year year and a half which i love my mechanical keyboards but i work so much more quickly with the logitech uh, mx keys s and i think the biggest reason is because it's like the most ergonomic keyboard not even trying to sell y'all on it like this is not sponsored but then also typing experience feels really natural seamless and then this specific model is for like mac os users. So I'm used to this keyboard layout. got back to the crib had a really good UX demo meeting just catching up on some of the changes that they're making and the progress they're making which is always really refreshing especially when you see your work like kind of align or you find like commonalities or like correlations even if you haven't even been in communication with the designer or product manager who's demoing which is always refreshing so i'm about to go to the gym i'm really behind in my workout i have to do legs but regretting it i also wanted to test out the sabrinas in like real live like competition instead of just like shooting around it's a beautiful day it's thursday so why not go to the gym obviously we have a really beautiful gym downstairs but I'm paying for our gym membership, so I might as well go. And especially because the bike is charged up. So if I want to, I could take the electric bike, which will get me to the gym really quickly, or I could even take my road bike, which sometimes is a bit easier.
What's up guys, today's Sunday. I only filmed like one video clip on Saturday because as you can see, um, I look a little bit different today because I have this metal splint wrapping my pinky finger. So yesterday I went to go play basketball, my typical routine, get up in the morning, make my wife and I some coffee, spend some quality time with each other in the morning. She went to the gym to work out with her friend. I decided to go play ball. I'm not saying this was like the spirit or anything. Maybe it was just like intuition. I'm not sure. Maybe it was the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I was I was um, waiting to play basketball and I didn't feel like as excited to hoop that day, especially when I got to the gym because there wasn't that many players, which is fine because there were good players playing, which means I'd be able to get a lot of good games in in a shorter amount of time. Someone got hurt. And I just had this, like someone that doesn't, that I don't ever see get hurt. And I had this weird feeling about potentially getting hurt as well. The main reason is because I started hooping in those Sabrinas, which are low tops. And if you guys have been following my channel long enough to know that I had a lot of ankle issues um, since high school because of like football and playing basketball and just people undercutting me. This is my first time wearing low tops since like like a, my junior, sophomore, junior year in college. But anyways, I was like, I'm not gonna let this negative thought affect me. And I can end up playing like one game and um, the game was going well. Just mad tall dude. He was like, had to be like six, nine. And just the weirdest play happened. I just, I, we both go for this loose ball and I, my pinky finger like hits his like arm. And then it just, my pinky just like dislocated or it looked like it dislocated. And I don't know if you can remember, but this finger, I dislocated this finger some years ago, so it's never been fully straight, but it like popped out a socket. It was the weirdest thing. Then I popped it back in and when I bent it, it like tried to pop back out of socket. And then I just, I popped it back in. Um, and I just, I hit the game winner actually. I kept playing, I take my finger up, hit the game winner and then I, one of the homies said that I was uh, I was just uh, making that up or whatever. Then he said I'm from Cleveland, which also is funny because you know being from Ohio, Cleveland, like known for being tough, whatever. That's beside the point. Just extra context. So I end up going to the uh, emergency room because I don't want my finger to get worse. It already didn't heal right from the last fracture or dislocation, and I get X-rays, no break. But um, the doctor said that. I need to see a hand doctor because there's like this hood that's on your finger it allows you to bend it or I, I don't know exactly what the medical term is and all the details but basically I, I might have like this torn ligament in my finger which would probably require a procedure which would require a procedure so yeah I just honestly it's pretty bummed out about that it took a lot of my energy positive energy energy yesterday and I was gonna film because I tried to go about my day like how I normally would but I just wasn't feeling it especially with this cast yeah so next time I'm just going to listen to that voice in my head that's like yo maybe you should just sit this one out um but you know anything can happen at any point in time like we're not fully in control as we think we are, which is just a reminder whenever I get injured to be grateful for just having a fully functioning body. All right, so we just got to the zip car location. I've never done this before. Um, most of these cars are on lifts. I don't see our truck, but maybe it's on a lift somewhere or around a corner. 